Okay, hello, Emerson. Hello, Tony. Good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. Okay. Excellent. So I think that uh today, well, it is really hot, right? Yeah. Really yeah. hot, guys. I don't know why, but it is really hot. Okay. Um, is it raining where you live? Mm, in Mexicano City, no. Maybe the song is more closer now. <laughs> <laughs> Could be All right. The time. <laughs> Come on, okay. So let's see. Uh, we yeah. see uh, Mayra, George, okay. Abigail, well, Emerson, okay. Good evening, guys. Okay. Um, okay. So we are going to start with today's class. And let me go ahead and just, okay. All right, guys. Uh, for today's class, we have the warm up and we are going to make a review on causatives, right? The topic that we covered yesterday. So we are going to make a review. We also have the speaking time, we have listening quizzes, and we have grammar quiz, and we also have the wrap up at the end of the class. Okay. So, guys, we are going to start with the warm up and we are going to start with pronunciation. Okay. Let's see if you remember. All right, guys. So, we have different verbs right here. I want you to tell me which is the correct pronunciation for each one. Yes. So let's see. How do you pronounce the ed ending sound of this verb? Is it t? Is it d? Or is it id? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Atilio. I am driving. One moment, please. Okay, yes. Uh-huh, guys. Okay, how do you pronounce this verb in past? Talk con ti? No, this one, the first one. Mm. Uh, I did re reminded reminded okay so right here okay very good so what about this one this dress up, mm. dress up. Mm. 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 dress it no dress it Okay. Uh, with T, D, or with I, D? D. With okay. D, dressed. Excellent. Okay. It is with T, dressed. Okay. Very good. How do you pronounce this word? ID. Is cream it? With D. Okay, so Mayra, how? Screamed. Screamed. Okay, screamed. Yes, okay, what about? Yes, oh, very good. What about this one? T I I D. Very good. It is going to be painted. Mm. What about this one? D. Okay. It is believed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about this one? T. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it is matched. Matched. Yes. What about this one? Out. With T. 
Yes, so it is going to be with T. Very good. What about this one? Corrected. Corrected ID. ID. Perfect. Okay, so what about this one? Talked. Con T? With the letter T. Very good. Talked. Excellent. What about this one? Started. Very, very good. I started. Excellent. What about this one? Improved. Improved. Yes. Okay. D. Yes. Improved. Okay. What about this one? D. T. Pass. D. Passed. Okay, D or T or ID? ID. Pass it? Pass D. Okay, let's say that, okay, letter D. Passed. Okay, let's put it right there. What about this one? Order. Mm, order. Is it D? Ordered. Okay, very good. What about this one? In the past, is uh -huh. D, is D no D. Which past. one? Oh. Mm, in uh, the past, is ah, okay. D, D, perdón. Okay, so that one is going to be the letter T, past. Uh -huh. Okay. So what about this one? Um, With the letter T? Record. 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 No. When is one X is T? When the W S is D? Okay, but this recorded ID the first yes. not third recorded because it ends with the letter D. It follows the same rule as this one. Reminded, recorded. Uh -huh. Okay, don't worry. Okay, and the last one? Fund D. Yes, fund. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh -huh. In the past, tengo duda. Which past? Uh huh. Sería D, porque W S. Uh huh. Um, not exactly. Okay. Remember that there are some exceptions. Okay, some exceptions. So it's not like mandatory. Yeah, but it could be also with the letter D. But in this case, it can be T or D. Yeah. It's not mandatory. And I know because it's double S, right? Yeah, I know. But in this case, this one is past. Past. Yes. Okay. So, um, okay, let's continue. Okay, we still have more exercises. Okay. So let's clear that and let's move to this, right? I need two volunteers. The first one is going to read from one to five. And the second one is going to read from six to 10 with the correct pronunciation. Two volunteers. Me teacher. Okay, Mayra, you go from one to five and the second volunteer? Me. Thank you, Abigail. Okay. Mayra. They, they think that they thanked. Oh, sorry. They thanked him for the tea. Okay. Your car is the match. Okay. We help. We helped it. Uh -huh. Then clear the path. Uh -huh. I rented a small apartment. Uh -huh. John walked 
four miles. Okay, thank you. Now, Mayra, the first verb, which is the final sound? T, D, or I, D? Tank, tank, dance. T. T. Tent. 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 Okay. What about number two? T, D, or I, D? E, D. Damage it. Damage it. Damage it. With D. With T? No, in this case, it's going to be with D. Damage. Oh, damage. Okay. Excellent. Number three. Help. We help. Huh? With the letter T. With the letter T. Thank you, Jonathan. Helped. Okay, helped. Number four. This is the verb. Little T. Rent. Rent. Rented. ID. Rented. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rented. Whenever you see that a verb, Mayra, ends with the letter T or the letter D, it sounds like ed. Rented. Okay. okay. And number five. Walk. Walk. T. T. Yes. Walked. Walk. Walked. Walked. Thank you. Okay. Abigail. He never wanted to hurt you. Mm -hmm. If I did. Excellent. The dog recovered. Is D. Excellent. Very good. The police, the police, who the killer? ID. Okay. Hunted. 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 Uh -huh. It rained very hard last night. Mm, D. Very good. Rained. Excellent. I stopped listening 10 minutes, 10 minutes ago. Is T. Okay, very good. Now, 10 minutes ago. Minutes. Excellent. Very good. So you see? I mean, very good. Okay, well done. Let's move. Okay, and we still have one exercise okay pronunciation i need two volunteers me teacher okay wendy very good wendy so wendy mm -hmm. you go with the first part okay you say back on the primer part okay okay teacher. and the second one me teacher thank you carlos omar okay lo mismo recuerde me va a decir which is the final sound okay so, Wendy, let's start. For a pronunciation review, mm -hmm. in the following page, a number of worldwide it and have been used to describe a short story. The mm -hmm. for is of the healing the world is the a D ending should be pronounced. Pronounce. Pronounce. T D or I D. Mm -hmm. Okay. The student worried mm -hmm. one that he was going to be kid kid kid. Okay. Two of of a school, mm -hmm. he had paced three. Mm -hmm. okay. On his exam, why soft height marks that they doubt he had 
um, cheated mm -hmm. for, but the truth was the study. Mm -hmm. uh, five very hard and deserved six highs good grades he believed mm -hmm. seven he was a uh, learning eight uh, individual and always attempted uh, night to do well in this in his absence okay wendy now let's see let's focus on the verbs vamos a enfocarnos en los verbs okay okay so wendy which is the final sound of t d or id which is the final sound of this verb if we say worried which worried. is that uh -huh, which is the final sound um Worry. I, worried ID. Okay, ID. Very good, right? So it is going to be ID. What about number two, Wendy? So we have this one, which is kicked. Uh -huh. Repeat after me and uh, say kicked. Tit. Okay, which is the final sound? T, D, or ID? Yeah, he can uh -huh. get kicked. Kit or no, no, which is the final sound? T, T, D, or ID? Mm, ID, ID. So we say kick it or we say kick it. Kick it. Okay, no, the correct pronunciation is kick it. Kit. Okay, which is the final sound? T, ID. T, okay, T. very good, excellent. So what about number three? Okay, this oh, one we pass. say pass. Pass, T. Okay, letter T, very good. So what about number four? Uh, this one, we pronounce it cheated. Cheated, ID. ID, very good. What about number five? We say it studied. Um, I studied ID. ID. What about number six? Six. Deserved. A T. Mm. Very good. So we say it. Deserved. Deserved. Uh -huh. D. All right. D. Letter D. Uh -huh. So mm. what about number seven? Believed. The same. D. D. The same. Let it be. Okay. Now, what about number eight? Learned. Attended. Attended. Is oh, and, and learned? Ah. Learned. D. D. Learned. Okay. Yes. And number nine. Attempted. Attempted. ID. ID. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right. Nora. Carlos Omar, next paragraph. Okay. Afraid that they will be expelled, he decided uh, to try and convince the exam examiners he was innocent. He broke into, into their office late at night and searched for his exam papers. Mm -hmm. This was the perfect solution. He Chocolate to himself. Has he changed? Changed? He changed the answers. They would never think he, he was a cheat of he appeared to have done badly. Okay. So now, thank you. Let's focus on the on the pronunciation of the verbs, eh, Carlos. So let's see. Number 10. Expel it. D. Okay. 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 If it is with the letter D, lo decimos expelled or expelled. 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 
expelled. Ok. Expelled. All right. Porque es la letra D, entonces es, es expelled. Oh. With D. Uh -huh. And what is the meaning of ex expelled? What is the meaning, guys? That one is very common at school. No? Como expulsado. No. Yes, okay. Expulsado, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Expelled. So I'm afraid that he will be expelled. Que lo expulsaran. Okay, number 10, Carlos. Pronunciation. T, D, or I, D? I, D. Okay, decided. Very good. Number 12. T, D, or I, D? Third. Letter D. Surged. Letter T. Letter T, okay. Surged. Yes, very good. Letter T. What about number 13? Chocolate. Chocolate. And, uh, chuckled. All right, yes, letter D. It, it is, it is uh, chuckled, right? Chuckled, yes. Es como reírse. All right, so number 14. Change it. Letter ID. Mm, no, exactly. No. Change or letter T? With the letter D. Changed. Yes. Letter D. And the last one. Appeared. ID. Appeared. No. B? Letter D. Letter D, appeared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, appeared. Okay. Remember that not all of the verbs uh, has the same pronunciation, right? Not all of them. Yeah. Don't forget about that. Okay, guys, let's continue. Tomorrow we are going to make another practice like this, okay? Because we need to focus on simple past. So let's move. All right, and let's start with the information that we have, right, uh, from the book, okay? So we're going to start uh, today by covering uh, the following, all right? So um, we're going to make a review on causatives make and get. So we're going to make this review about the topic that we covered yesterday, yeah? Because yesterday the topic was not clear, all right? And I could saw that. In, uh, on the examples that you actually sent yesterday, all right? But please pay attention, pay attention. So we have causatives in English, yes? Causatives can be used with different verbs, but in this case, we are going to focus on make and get, yes? Make and get. So first of all, Let's make a review about what causatives are. In this case, causatives are often used, used, no you said, used when someone wants or needs uh, someone else to do something for them. Or when someone has control or authority over another person. Yeah, they can also be used to talk about actions that someone arranges or facilitates for themselves. And we are going to start with make. So which is the uh, structure, okay? Look at the structure. I know that is kind of a little, but let's try to, to look at it. So we have subject, make, yeah? Object, base form of the verb, and the complement. That is the structure for us to have causatives. Yeah? And we have I, subject, make, make. My brother, the object, the person that performs this action. Base form of the verb, wash. 
complement the dish. So I make my brother wash the dish. Yes, and it's like saying, it's like saying, yo hago que mi hermano lave los platos. Yes. For us to have a causative, this is the structure that we need to follow. Si usted me dice, for example, my sister makes the dinner. Esa no es un causative, es a simple present. Porque no es la estructura que estamos utilizando. Fíjese bien, si usted me dice, my sister makes the dinner, that is simple present. Now, if I say, I make my sister make the dinner. That is a causative. Yes? So you need to pay attention to the structure. Okay? So we have more examples. Look at the first one. She makes her children, the object, do the base form, the complement, their homework every day. Subject, make their person, that's why here we add the S. Yes, she makes her children do their homework every day. Number two, they, Subject, make, make. Their employees, object, attend, base form of the verb, regular training sessions, complement. Yeah. My parents, subject, make, causative. Me, the object, clean, the verb in base form, my room every weekend, the complement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we also have number four. The company makes subject causative. Its employees, the object, wear the verb in base form, a uniform. Uh -huh. Same thing with number five. Yeah. He makes his sister wash the dishes after dinner. I made my brother wash the dishes. Yes. And that is past, which is yes. perfect. Yo hice que mi hermano lavara los platos. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. And then we also have the teacher makes the students complete the assignments on time. We make our dog take regular, regular walks for exercise. The coach makes the team practice for several hours every day. Yeah. And then we also have the manager makes his staff arrive on time for meetings. And then number 10, the landlord. What was landlord? Do you remember? Landlord? No? Mm, okay. The landlord is el arrendador. El que alquila. Okay. So the landlord makes the tenants, tenants, pay the rent by the fifth of each month. Mm 
Yeah, I know the synonym of owner is proprietary. Yes. Okay. The owner, uh -huh, the owner, the, the owner. landlord. Yes. Okay. Now the tenant, the tenant is el inquilin, right? El inquilin. Tenants, inquilinos, plural. Okay. Uh, okay. Question so far. So remember, for us to use causatives, this is the structure that we need to follow, guys. If you don't use this structure, so we are not using causatives. You are using another type of a structure. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Let's continue, all right? And let's move to um, get, all right? Now we get. So in order for us to use causatives, yes, in present, in this case, we are going to use subject plus get plus object plus two, plus the base form of the verb plus complement. This will be the structure. And we have she, subject, gets her students, the object, to practice the infinitive, to practice, complement, speaking English in class. So, ella hace que sus estudiantes practiquen English in class. Yes? Teacher, but it's the same then with make. Yes. Hacer. Pero que también se puede interpretar como obtener, depende del contexto. Deja una ventana abierta para poder interpretarlo de otra manera. Es más común usar by obtener. Uh -huh. To get something. Yes, correct. Uh -huh. So in this case, um, because of the context, right? Si nosotros lo interpretamos como obtener, it doesn't make like um, sense, right? Ella obtiene que sus estudiantes practiquen. Um, Puede ser, pero tenemos que agregar otra idea más. Um, and okay. if I say she makes her students to practice speaking English in class, is correct? Mm, uh, not exactly, because you added two. You can say she makes her students practice. Uh -huh. um, without two. Without the two. It's easy to confuse, but okay. Yes, uh -huh. I know. That's why sometimes it's better for us just to use one or make or get. And in my case, I do prefer to use make. But many people use get instead of make. Yeah. So now let's see. Uh, we have different examples. Okay. She gets her children to do their homework every day. Mm -hmm. They get their employees to attend regular meetings. Because if we say, for example, they make their employees attend regular meetings. It's almost the same. So he gets his friend to drive him to work. Then we have, we get our neighbors to water our plants when we are away. The teacher gets the students to participate in class discussions. 
They get their dog to fetch the ball. Perseguir. Atrapar. She gets her students to submit their assignments on time. We get our car mechanic to fix our vehicle. He gets his colleagues, colleagues to help him with the project. The parents get their toddler to eat vegetables by making it fun. So you see, so we need to follow this structure in order for us to use causatives with get. This is the structure that you need to follow. With get, and this one is with make. The secret with get is the use of to. Yes. Before the object. Correct. Or, or between the object and the verb in the base form. In this case, after, you will see. Aha, uh -huh, yes, between, as you mentioned. Subject, get, object, to, and base form. So in, in the middle, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so now let's do something. I need you to please create, okay, a three sentences, three. Three sentences uh, using make and three sentences using get. Yes, three using make and three sentences using get. Try to follow the structure. Follow the structures, all right? With make. And then with get, I'll give you uh, around six minutes, okay? Work on this. Mm. What happened? Let me see. Yes, okay. First with make, three, and send them here to the chat.
Okay. Um, guys, remember to follow the structure. You have the structure right here. She make me very happy. Well, first of all, we are missing the letter S. She makes me because it's third person. And that one is not causative. That one is a sentence in simple present. I am going to make a, be a very useful tool that is simple present. Well, future actually. I want to make a delicious breakfast. That is simple present. It's not causative. My mom makes, in this case, Carla, also the letter S because it's third person. My mom makes me clean the house. That one, yes, but you need to add the letter S to make because my mom is third person. And I make my girlfriend play soccer. I make uh, my sister, I make my sister pay the house bill, okay? Uh, you make your dog eat slowly, yes. Uh, Jonathan, just number two that you were missing, I think the possessive adjective. He makes the bed every morning, That that is simple present tense, Wendy. I make my partner partner. I make my I make my partner partner with R at the end in Mayra. I make my partner do do the bill or pay the bill or make the bill. Um, the president make us take off more days. The president makes us. Okay. I got my daughter to clean her room. Daughter with the letter A. Mari's daughter. She makes a lot of difficult decisions. That is simple present. Okay, let me see, um, Emerson. Maria makes, okay, the spelling, Emerson. Maria makes her children, yeah, brush, brush with the R, brush, brush their teeth before going to bed. Remember that after before we need to add ing going. Uh, they may they may him prepare. Okay, let me see. Um, let me see. Maria, where is it? Maria makes her children brush their teeth before going to bed. They made him prepare coffee for, for the guests. And the police made them so render. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that I replied back. I made the staff 
from early to work. Yes, he makes the, the workers, he makes the workers use helmet on the construction. Yes. Uh, Lucky makes the family take him out. Yes, well done, um, Tony. His parents made him pay for it. Excellent, Maurice, that one is correct. Okay. I get my customers to drink alcohol with soda, okay? I got my mechanic to fix my car fastly, okay? Um, just mechanic, you, were, uh, you are missing the letter H after a C. I got my friend to drive his car, okay? Yes. Teacher, in, in my sentences are good the the last one looking makes the family takes him out to work or looking makes the family take him out work in the afternoon works i i don't know i i no if it is correct okay okay, okay. yes yes it is perfect let me see Okay, very good. All right, so now continue with the ones with get. Okay, I'll give you uh, three minutes, okay, for the ones that have not finished. Okay. I can get him to do everything. Yes, very good. Uh, my sister has got to clean her room. Mm -hmm. uh, just number two, Emerson. The second one is not this structure. Then the other ones, the woman gets with uh, letter S because it's third person, the woman. Okay. Yes.
Okay. Um, all right, guys. Just take into account that we need to use this structure, okay? For you to use causatives, you need to learn how to use this structure, okay? I can see that some of you have used uh, simple present or simple past, right? Remember that it's not the same. Causatives and the other tenses is not the same, okay? All right. Um, let's move, all right? Let's move, let's move. And we are going to continue with the following, all right? Well, I think that we are going to take um, the listening quizzes right now because we still have a lot of things to cover, okay? So we are going to take the first listening. Yeah, the first listen. Let's take the first listening quiz. Okay, there you go. That that one is the link and the passcode is going to be listening. Capital letters. And let me know once you are in so I can play this audio. I'm going to uh, play this one three times, okay? Three times. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay, very good. So here we go, guys. Let me see. See if this one is still on. Yes. Wait, I thought you were just walking through the hotel to go outside and get something to eat. Why are we stopping at these slot machines? Are you gonna gamble? What? Who, me? Hey, I'll meet you back at the conference room with the rest. Uh, no, I'm staying right here with you. Does Sarah know about this? About what? I just have some change in my pocket and I thought I'd get rid of it. See? Look, I have about five bucks or so. Hey, and besides, your wife doesn't need to know about everything you do, does she? Uh, no. This is different. You lost about fifteen hundred dollars the last time we came uh, here and wait why are you taking out your credit card what oh this i'm just gonna buy a sandwich oh uh, no give me that oh okay here's my jacket no not your jacket give me the credit card really don't you trust me no let's use that credit card and get dinner for the rest of the group okay the second time Wait, I thought you were just walking through the hotel to go outside and get something to eat. Why are we stopping at these slot machines? Are you going to gamble? What? Who, me? Hey, I'll meet you back at the conference room with the rest. Uh, no, I'm staying right here with you. Does Sarah know about this? About what? I just have some change in my pocket and I thought I'd get rid of it. See? Look, I have about five bucks or so. Hey, and besides, your wife doesn't need to know about everything you do, does she? Uh, no. This is different. You lost about $1,500 the last time we came uh, here. And wait, why are you taking out your credit card? What? Oh, this? I'm just going to buy a sandwich. Uh, no. Give me that. Oh, okay. Here's my jacket. No, not your jacket. Give me the credit card. Really? Don't you trust me? No. Let's use that credit card and get dinner for the rest of the group. Okay, the last time. Wait, I thought you were just walking through the hotel and get something to eat. Why are we stopping at these slot machines? Are you going to gamble? What? Who, me? Hey, I'll meet you back at the conference room with the rest. Uh, no, I'm staying right here with you. Does Sarah know about this? About what? I just have some change in my pocket and I thought I'd get rid of it. See, look, I have about five bucks or so. Hey, and besides, your wife doesn't need to know about everything you do, does she? Uh, no, this is different. You lost about $1,500 the last time we came uh, here. And wait, why are you taking out your credit card? What? Oh, this? I'm just gonna buy a sandwich. Uh, no, give me that. 
Oh, okay. Here's my jacket. No, not your jacket. Give me the credit card. Really? Don't you trust me? No. Let's use that credit card and get dinner for the rest of the group. Okay, ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, she said 15,000, but the... the oh, the, 1,500. 15, but um, 15,000, I, I, I... You heard 15,000? Uh -huh, 15,000, the three times. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the in the question number four, you know, the option is uh, 1,500. 1, Yes, very good. All right. In this case, whenever we have this type of quantities, for example, 1,500, we can say those type of uh, quantities. Uh, in this case, he's, uh, she said 1,500 because we have only two zeros, right? So we can say it 1,500 or we can say it 1,500 and it's the same. The same thing. We have two ways of saying those quantities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. no so it will be okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let me see the the results. Okay. Okay, I can see that some of you got 100, all right? Some of you got 80s. So um, she mentioned a, actually this. Uh, she said, let me see this word, a slot machines. Do you know what are a slot machines? A slot yeah, the the machines in the casinos. Excellent, All right? That, so, uh, in El Salvador is traga perras, but I don't know what is the correct name in English. Yes, it's the same. Yes, it's the same. And uh, let me see. What else? Oh, um, whenever they said five bucks. $5. Very good. Okay, box, right? Instead of saying dollars. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, um, let's see. Yes, I can see that. Some, okay, some of you got 100. And okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, let's continue with the class. Okay, let's continue with the class. And what we are going to do right now is that we are going to continue with the topic, all right, from the book. And today, guys, we are going to talk about the following. Yes. So how do you create a new brand? How do we create a new brand or restore an existing one? Okay. So, but we are going to focus on how to create a new brand. So we have different steps that we need to take into account, but the one that we are going to develop today is going to be the brand strategy, okay? So let's see, uh, help us reading this information, um, Tony, all of this. Okay. Um, how do you create a new brand or restore the existing one? Number one, define your brand identity mm -hmm. to conduct market research. Three, develop your brand strategy. Four, design your visual identity. Five, craft your brand messaging. Six, build your online presence. Yes. Seven, deliver or your brand promise. Yes. Nine, okay. nine, engage and build relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and this eight and nine. 
continuously evaluate and evolve. Yes. Remember, building a brand takes time and consistent effort. It requires a deep understanding of your target audience and clear brand identity and a well-executed strategy. Yes. Okay, thank you. So in this case, we should follow those, um, I would say, nine steps, right, for us to create a new brand, yeah? Um, but the most important one that we are going to learn today is going to be the brand strategy, yeah? So, guys, uh, whenever we actually want to restore an existing brand, we need to follow some steps as well. So which are the steps that we need to follow to restore an existing brand? Uh, Mayra, can you please help us reading this information? Yes. Uh, restoring an existing brand requires a strategic approach to revitalize its image reconnect with customer and regain market relevance. Mm -hmm. uh, one, ele evaluate and understand. Revisit brand strategy. Conduct market research. Refresh brand identity. Announce customer experience. Mm -hmm. Communicate communicate and engage, mm -hmm. build brand advocacy, Yes. monitor and adapt, mm -hmm. stay consistent. Yes. Okay, thank you. Repeat after me and say enhance. 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 Mm -hmm. Now repeat after me and say engage. Engage, engage, engage. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, guys, in this case, to restore a brand, right? Of course, it's going to be more difficult, right? Than probably creating a new brand because you need to reevaluate, revisit, refresh, enhance, right? Well, you need to do a lot of things again right and it is really difficult to actually recover right uh, probably customers sometimes yeah then um we are going to move to the information that we have from the book and we have a uh, one role play i need two volunteers one is going to be mateo and the other one is going to be angela yeah me yeah thank you all right, Emerson, you are Mateo, and I think that, uh, who said me? Carlos Omar. Angela. Okay. I went into a business as a lawyer six months ago, but I barely get any customer. I had people found the best way of the legal thought Throw out for a cheap price, but they seem the prefer to the competition. The competition. Uh, probably you need to define the brand of the service you are providing to improve the business. Yes. How do I do that? I just usually let consumer do some promotion for for me with business card your client can help you to do uh, all the advertising you already decided what kind of law you focus on now you have to focus on to focus on the kind the of clients you want to work with and define the brand you want. Okay, thank you. Very good, guys. All right, so let's uh, 
Look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Number one, it says, I help According. people fall the best way. Excellent. I help people find the best way out of legal trouble. Number two, I just usually. This customer do. This, this customer do something advertising for me. Okay. Number three, your clients can. Help you, help you to do all the advert, uh, advertising. Yes, very good, all right? Okay, guys. So in this case, um, let's move. And we have this activity from the book, yes? So in this case, it says that we need to identify the components of their branding strategy. The brand strategy follows those five, uh, I would say, components, okay? We have brand awareness, perceived quality, brand associations, brand loyalty, and proprietary assets, yeah? And which are the questions that we need to ask ourselves to decide the branding strategy? or to identify which is going to be the branding strategy for a company. Which are the questions? Well, the first one that actually um, makes us know about the brand awareness of a brand. What are some associations to this brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's mind when shopping, et cetera? Then perceived quality. We have different questions. Do customers get the brand because of its quality? Is price key to the selection of the brand? Is the brand widely available? Yeah. Then brand association. Yeah. Um, widely is ampliamente disponible, verdad? Yes, correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the brand able to activate associations in the customer's minds? Mm -hmm. Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are there brand extensions in the market? Just think about one of the brands that we have discussed during this week and try to answer those questions, right? So brand loyalty. Are there many customers uh, which are loyal for this brand? Do they help promote the brand via word or mouth? Yeah. Are customers satisfied with the brand? Mm -hmm. And proprietary assets, does the brand offer distinctive features to make it stand out from the competitors? Think about a brand, okay? Just think about a brand. Mm -hmm. So basically, those are the steps, all right, of the branding strategy. Those are the components for us to develop the brand strategy. We need to take into account the brand awareness, the perceived quality, yeah? the brand associations, the brand loyalty, the proprietary assets. Mm -hmm. So in this case, I think that we're not going to develop this today. We are going to do it tomorrow, okay? So right now, just for you to have an idea, okay? Of what we are going to do tomorrow, yes? So let's move and now, Let's take the second listening quiz. Yeah, let's take the uh, the second listening quiz. Let me get it for you. And let me see. Okay, there you go. The passcode is going to be listening capital letters. Okay. Okay. 
Let me know once you are ready so I can play the audio. I'm going to play it three times again, okay? Ready, okay, here we go. Um, all right. Hey, how are things going? Well, to be honest, things aren't going well for us. How come? Well, I lost my job a month ago, and my wife was in the hospital for three weeks, and now our bills are piling up, and last week our car died, and it's going to cost about $2,500 to repair it. And that's way more than it's worth. I mean, it has almost 275,000 miles. Wow, I'm really sorry to hear that. Thanks. Uh, hey, listen, I have an older car that I'm not using now. I'll donate it to you. No, no, I can't accept it. Please take it. Are you sure? Of course. The car needs a new oil change and a couple new tires, but otherwise it runs great. That's very kind of you. All you owe me is one of your homemade peach pies. That will make us even. Okay, thanks. Okay, the second time. Hey, how are things going? Well, to be honest, things aren't going well for us. How come? Well, I lost my job a month ago, and my wife was in the hospital for three weeks, and now our bills are piling up, and last week our car died. And it's going to cost about $2,500 to repair it. And that's way more than it's worth. I mean, it has almost 275,000 miles. Wow, I'm really sorry to hear that. Thanks. Uh, hey, listen, I have an older car that I'm not using now. I'll donate it to you. No, no, I can't accept it. Please take it. Are you sure? Of course. The car needs a new oil change and a couple new tires, but otherwise it runs great. That's very kind of you. All you owe me is one of your homemade peach pies. That will make us even. Okay, thanks. Okay, the last time. Hey, how are things going? Well, to be honest, things aren't going well for us. How come? Well, I lost my job a month ago, and my wife was in the hospital for three weeks, and now our bills are piling up, and last week our car died. And it's going to cost about $2,500 to repair it. And that's way more than it's worth. I mean, it has almost 275,000 miles. Wow, I'm really sorry to hear that. Thanks. Uh, hey, listen, I have an older car that I'm not using now. I'll donate it to you. No, no, I can't accept it. Please take it. Are you sure? Of course. The car needs a new oil change and a couple new tires, but otherwise it runs great. That's very kind of you. All you owe me is one of your homemade peach pies. That will make us even. Okay, thanks. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, this was much better, I think. Okay. Yes, it was easier than the other one. Okay, guys, now let's take the grammar quiz. Okay, the grammar one. There you go. It is simple, okay? That one is not difficult. It's about, uh, the passcode is going to be grammar, capital letters. Grammar, capital letters. And it's about prepositions. So easy. Yeah.
Okay. Um, so I can see that um, I see good scores, um, but I think that we need to reinforce also prepositions. Okay. Remember that whenever we say um, that we are in um, a, a specific place, we need to use at, yeah, because it's a specific, yeah. And when um, when we are talking about a general place, right, a common place is in. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Please say present once you hear your name, okay? Um, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Listen, teacher. Thank you. Um, Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Carlos Vladimir. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. Present, Miss. Thank you. George Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Where? Jose? No. Okay. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Kenya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, guys. So let's move and let's work on the speaking time. Yes, let's focus on the speaking time and we are going to practice with the following questions, okay? So first of all, we are going to practice with general questions. If you could live without sleeping, how would you spend your nights? Conditional. Right. If you could live forever on Earth as it is now, would you? Why or why not? Yeah. If you were given the opportunity to be born again, what would you change in your life? What are the things that you would change? Yeah. Then do high level qualifications always lead to a well paid job? What do you think about that? Uh -huh. What advice would you give a young person today? Uh -huh. Would you encourage your children to accept a job in another country? Yes or no? Uh -huh. And why? Yes. So we have a couple of questions right there. Okay. Yeah, so I those are general topics, right? So we're going to practice for some minutes and then we're going to come back, yeah? So open the class and you have this information over there, okay? So let's practice.
Okay, all the rules. This is good. This is good, good, good. Okay, I will share you with you my screen. The speaking time. Okay. What do you like to talk about today? If you could live without sleeping, how would you spend your night? Oh my gosh. Si usted pudiera vivir sin dormir. No, hombre, chele, si dormir es tan rico. I need sleep to recover my batteries. But this is interesting. Uh, maybe um, I like the stars and the sky. And I will be an uh, astronomer uh, at the night. Okay, at the night only. Uh, uh, to to view the constellation, the planet, the different galaxies. It, it, this is this is amazing for me, and I I uh, I would like to 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 do this at night. Um, what more? I don't know. Um, I don't like the parties, and I, I don't. And I don't like to dance, and and I don't know land, dance, mm -hmm. and that is the reason that the the parties I don't like. It. But um, maybe we can do a different things at night. Maybe learn, maybe um, study. I don't know. Maybe the most important for me at night is uh, to view the stars on the sky. And you, and you, and you, and you. We are five. Six or seven, I know seven with the teacher. Oh, I think maybe finish the the uh, pendientes, como sería your pendings. I finish my pendings or uh, the decay. Time for my emprendimiento. For your entrepreneurs. Uh, for your business. Uh -huh. Ah, for your business. Yes. We care yes. more time. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, okay. And you, Atilio? Oh, Atilio is not here. I moved. Ah, no, sorry, sorry. It's, it's <laughs> Emerson. Emerson. Emerson and Carlos Omar and Abigail. Yes. And Wendy. Hello. Good evening. Well, I think the I don't I couldn't. With you could sleep. live without sleep. But I I have I have heard that drinks are the way to allow the brain to the rega regain the concentration. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so in this case, we we can sleep. You your health becomes bad. Yes, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. But figure it that you could live without sleep. You have. A double time to do anything. What do you do? What do you doing? What do you do? Uh, what do you do? Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe work more. <laughs> no. So way. only things like we can do <laughs> productive for the life. Maybe this 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 time in, at night. This aggregate time is for fun. For oh, 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 what the question is is you could is you could live uh, as you nowadays, as you are, as you are nowadays, right? Mm, I on I understand if. Um, if I if I could live forever forever here, right? Uh, um, 
like uh, it's everything, um, everything maybe a uh, technological or um, resources, service, and everything. I don't know if my family stay with me. Yes, maybe yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but, okay. Yes, but um, if my family, I it doesn't stay with me. Maybe no, I I want to die, jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Okay, in my case, I could live forever on the earth. Uh, as is now, mm, yes, I would like to have uh, that opportunity because I consider a, a younger, I'm 24. So, and I, I don't want to to get more age. <laughs> so that's, I would like to get the opportunity because I think uh, I feel better with my age. Uh, I I have a lot of energy. I consider that I can do a, a different things, mm. and so I I could be could be excellent to get that opportunity. Well, I think um, I can live forever but in a um uh, in a strange case como podría decir yo o in mm -hmm. I'm thinking Um, okay, so you could say, let me see, in un extraño caso. Oh, puede ser, but, but if it happens, como si esto pasara. Yes, but if that happens. But it does happen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I really wish like forever because I... I have a, I will have a opportunity for improve my my English and learn another language like uh, Korean or travel in the world or travel to another country. It's really okay. So you will take it. You will take that opportunity, eh, Mayra? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Next. Mm -hmm. If you were given the opportunity to be born again, what would you change in your life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the country. <laughs> the country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Definitely. <laughs> okay, I think in that... my case. Okay, oh, go. Sorry. No, go, go, go. Okay, in my case, I were to the opportunity uh, given uh, or given to born to be born again. Uh, in my case, I would like to change uh, the country. I would like to uh, to born in Canada because I consider. And I have heard about Canada, uh, Canada, and mm -hmm. they have different obligation, I guess, to learn three languages. For example, uh, English, French, and Spanish. I get, I guess. But I, I think in this country, in Salvador, uh, we need uh, those rules. I think it's very important to learn another another uh, language. So, and also obviously the clarity of the lives. For example, uh, as you know, the the payment for any child is different. 
So all I consider that Canada could be a an excellent uh, country to to live and to work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what about Mayra? What about George? In, in my case, um, if I will work again, um, I would like to have a study another language instead of a degree. Uh -huh. But I consider it is not more it's not more important the a degree or career uh -huh. than a language, I think. Okay, so let's see. So you would like to study another language instead of a career? Yes. Uh -huh. I prefer don't go to the to the univers university. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. First, uh, learn Why? Uh, language. Ah. Before, uh -huh, before. Uh -huh. the degree. And, and after that. And after that, yes, yes. Go to the university. Yes. Mm. Yes, I support that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay. To travel around the world. Every month in every country or every part of the earth. And travel and, and maintain traveling all the time. Uh, of course, if I have uh, enough money and uh, I uh, and the work is not necessary to 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 persist or, or to or to live because if you live, you need to um to to have a, a house or, or or if you travel uh, constant constantly uh, you need money for hotels for food and for different amenities if this is possible it's okay and this is not possible uh, um maybe with 75 years or 80 years um i think that that is enough time to live for me, uh, for me, this is my personal opinion. And in your in your opinion, um, Emerson and Carlita, if I say that she needs we... to, to sleep <laughs> all we the time, <laughs> I think the only thing I change. Maybe the sound decision, personal decisions I do. I have made. But the, I have made. But the other things in my life uh, are okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And the third question. If you were given the opportunity to burn again, what would you change in your life? This answer, I remember that I, I, uh, res, no sé si decir responder, respond. I answer it? Uh -huh. In the, in the, in the past, um, um, level, but my 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 answer is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, I if I give the opportunity to bird again, mm -hmm. only only change that um I 
want to know my wife before than the 18 years. Than oh, yes, I remember your answer. That, yes. uh -huh, that, yes. that my, I meet my, my wife and I, I, yeah. I decide to, to, to know, I don't know, at, at five years maybe. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Carlita? Oh, many things. <laughs> <laughs> Un montón de cosas cambiaría, yo lo sé. <laughs> Dormir más tiempo, no, pero sí todo lo más. So, mm. I think try to sleep less. Arthur is to learn uh, different languages. So my best advice is that learn uh, all... Um, maybe two or three languages and phenological things. Okay. Okay, in my opinion, I advise uh a uh, a young person nowadays, uh, for example, uh, I'm a uh, I advise my nephew, and I told I told him yesterday that he needs to learn English in high school, and not only that, uh, they uh, nowadays they they look for a little business or sell something. To get more money, I think it's very important to trade when we are younger. Well, in my opinion, um, it's very important that a young uh, learn many languages. Um. Most technologies uh, try to finish the career in the university, but it's very important. I don't know. I think, um, for example, in my case, I uh, start uh, to I start to work when I was nineteen years old, and in the same time. I studied in the university. Um, it's very difficult and uh, and hard, but um, for me, uh, these activities at the same time help me in the in my work because um, in three years. In yeah, in three years, uh, I had a first um promotion, and then each two or three years had the the next promotion. Uh, in my first work, um, I um um I don't know how do you say. Um, escalar o, o llegar, teacher. Help me, please. No está la teacher. Yes, I'm, I'm here. I'm sorry. Oh. I wasn't able to unmute. <laughs> okay, uh, so it is going to be rich. I, um, I reach uh, three or four, the new position. But I think uh, help me this situation because uh in this uh, in this moment in this year when i uh, started the work i started the um, system engineering and uh, well the um, i always worked in the uh, in a factory but um in this moment uh, is very important the experience, the um, 
knowledge and a little well when you meet with the people or oh, the recommendation is very important but uh, i think the in this moment for the junk is uh, is very important try to to make the both situation study and work it okay i don't yes. know what I, think. <laughs> I could add uh, that they learn to save money and because uh, they can enjoy when when they are older mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So financial education. Yeah. Yes, it's very important. Very yeah. important. Do you have a reason? Yeah. Yes, you are right. Okay, you are right. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh, well, will you encourage your children to accept a job in another country? Why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you had children, would you encourage your children to accept a job in another country? Would you do it? Well, like Dina Nelly, actually, uh, it's not here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. eh, también es que eh, se alentaría, por ejemplo, a mis hijos que aceptaron el trabajo en otro país. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't have <laughs> uh, right now, but I uh -huh. think uh, yes, because um, they will have uh, more opportunities. And, then, and after that, I will travel to visit. And, uh -huh. and how do you say conocer? Uh, a place to visit a place, uh -huh. a place visit. Another, visit another country mm -hmm. a culture okay so you will see it as an opportunity to visit another country yeah. mm -hmm. okay okay what about you george would you encourage your children to accept a job in another country? Mm. Yes. Uh, teacher, I think in the other country uh, exist the, the most opportunities. Mm -hmm. for all um, in in this country well I I have a job I have um, 25 years uh, in the work only I only have two two works and I is 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 well I like my work but I like my job I, yeah yeah sorry I like my job but I think Exist in many countries uh, have uh, the most opportunity for the for for us mm -hmm. for the children and the economy is better than this country and for me yes uh, in the other country exist the most opportunities. Okay, so you okay. In my opinion, I agree 
uh, with mm -hmm. my my partner because I consider uh, in another country uh, uh, you can get more opportunity. For example, in in United States, uh, you can get more opportunity because, uh, because you study in high school in after high school you study in university and you find a job it depends if the uh, you study in the university mm -hmm. i think is in in this country maybe you can graduate from high school, from university and you never find job but consider uh, yes. is very is better to study in another country Okay, so, and with that, I'm going to ask you number one from this slide. Do high-level qualifications always lead to a well-paid job in the country? So let's say that in the case, um, let's say that you have a degree, right? You have a degree, you have studied in the university, right? So does that help you right to get a well-paid job here in the country no uh, the the companies paid a uh, how do you say salario minimum a minimum wage uh, yes a minimum wage minimum Just, wage minimum wage okay yesterday i read uh I read something. I read something uh, rela re related related about this <laughs> related to that and uh, yeah related to that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh, what do you read Mayra uh, en español decía que no in, in English Mayra English. Uh, um, please don't don't Mm -hmm. Please don't don't como solicitar don't um, request don't request a master if you pay a a basic salary like so, yes. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Sadly, in the country, we don't have uh, uh, this type of salary that compensates what you have invested in education, right? Imagine you go to the university five years, six years, and sometimes eight years, right? And then the salary that you get is around... I think that is around 500, 600. This is in the case if you actually have some, uh, I would say, skills, extra skills, right? And if not, you get the minimum wage. So that's why sometimes it's better, as Mayra said before, right? Uh, maybe first learn a language and then you can go to the university. Right, because by learning a language, you get a well-paid job. Because if you ask a supervisor in a restaurant, the supervisor is getting paid maybe $500 or $600. And people that work in bilingual companies, right, or yeah, in sales, they earn more than a supervisor. And a supervisor, sometimes in the restaurant, they need to have a degree to be a supervisor. And they are not well paid. Yeah. So uh, high-level qualifications do not lead to a well-paid job. Sometimes. I would say 80% of the times they do not lead to a well-paid job let's say that 20 percent could be right if you if you are lucky so yes sometimes but if not that is not true mm -hmm. yes 
Yeah, it's it's sad, right? The situation <laughs> in our country, yes, because in as Jonathan uh, said before, right? Or I'm I'm not sure if George said this that in another country, if you study a degree, you get a job with that degree, and the job pays well, right? And that is true. But here, you get a degree, but at the end, you don't find a job, right? You don't find a job. That is true. Yeah, sadly, right? In the country. Okay, continue, okay? Continue just with the last question because we are almost done. We are going to go back to the main room. Just finish with the last question and I will call you in a minute, okay? Of my job, um, age, but this is, is a good is, is a good uh, advice. Um, work when you when you study at the same time. When you study, yeah. hmm? sorry. In my case, I I work it and I study. I worked and I work studied. He studied, uh -huh. and me, it 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 was hard. <laughs> Very difficult. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. In my case, don't waste time on social media. <laughs> better better <laughs> study and her or learn another language, English. Mm -hmm. uh, Ah, I don't know. Bonjour. Ay, la última no entiendo. What, what's the meaning? What's the meaning? Encourage. Encourage. Alentar. Motivar. Encourage. Well, yes. Um, I encourage my son to accept a job and uh, a new learning process in another country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because pay more. <laughs> pay more, and you have uh, more preparation, and you yes. know another language, not only English. Mm -hmm. That is to future. Okay, so guys. Um okay, let me ask you, okay, before we go, before we go, do high level qualifications always lead to a well-paid job? Not always. Okay. And what advice would you give a young person today? In general. Emerson? The advantage is that the young person is. Oh, being... no. What advice would you advice. give? Huh? Maybe. Learning English. <laughs> Learning English. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let me see. Juan Jose Herrera, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Can you please stay with me? Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. So right now, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, but we are going to continue tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today. I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Okay. Have a great night. Nice. Thank you. Good See night, you. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. See you. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, so Juan Jose, we're going to have our feedback time. Yes, and I would like to know how do you feel? How do you feel with our classes, right? How do you feel with the topics that we're learning? How do you think? Uh, feel about this new module, right? Okay, I will. I am trying to to understand some some topics because 
Uh, some topics are difficult, I think, because new vocabulary, the vocabulary, vocabulary is is weird in some case <laughs> and hard to learn. Yes. And combined with the topics, that's more. I, I don't know if say that dif more difficult. Yes, mm -hmm. but I am trying, and my schedule work sometimes start at night. Mm -hmm. And I I am I'm working and listening in the class, okay. but I'm trying. Okay, perfect. Well, as far as uh, you actually listen to the class, right, and you try to probably uh, keep uh, or be focused, right, while you are working, it's okay. I mean, you know, I, I agree, right? I agree that uh, the topics that we are studying are kind of new right for you and also the vocabulary of course right is new for you and I'm pretty sure that is kind of difficult sometimes right because of the different maybe activities that we developed during the class right so in this case uh, let me ask you um have you had any issues with the platform yes yes mm -hmm. I have issued in platform mm -hmm. in unit two mm -hmm. and a middle 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 term too oh what happened okay i'm i'm charging yeah can i share yes okay Can you see my screen? Um, let me see. Yes, I see it. Okay. Okay. I try to write in many ways, and always is bad. Ah, okay. In which two unit two two eleven? Let me see. Unit two, two eleven. Let me see what happened. Two eleven. This one is the one. Okay. Uh, number three, four, and five. Mm. retailers try to try to add this answer i'm going to send it okay okay so on number three try to add this look on the chat stuck uh -huh. enough goods goods and so, mm -hmm. but i okay mm -hmm. i try tried tried in past tried tried in this way but always mm -hmm. let's see it now <laughs> okay yeah let's okay. see okay and on number four uh, try to add this one and on number five add this one in past in past participle mm. because it's present perfect uh -huh. Always the verb be in in that in that way. Yes. Okay. 
the last one. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Which is the other one that you're the having issues one. with? Sing new term. Mm -hmm. That one is That's exercise same. part one, midterm. Let me see. Mm. Part, part four, right? Yes. Okay. Let me see if I can get part, part four. Part four. And ah, okay. Yes, on that one, you just need to add warm enough. Warm, just uh -huh, just warm enough. Without it is. Uh -huh, without, it, yes, without that. Copy, capital letter first. No, just okay. lowercase. Okay. Oh, but, but just warm enough. Uh -huh. Just warm enough. Erase everything. Just leave warm enough. Uh -huh. And on number five, enough people. Just enough people. Uh -huh. How can I know that? Yeah, I know. I mean, in this case, um, it says, right, on the indications, take a look at the following statements, decide whether to use adjective plus enough or enough plus noun. Only type the adjective plus enough or okay. adverb plus noun, not it, the entire sentence. It might fall. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? It <laughs> happens. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Another one? No, just that. Just that. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Well, in this case, eh, Juan Jose, I really appreciate the responsibility that you have, that I know that even though you are working sometimes, you are still during the class, right? So try to um, study the vocabulary that we are learning, right? So you can go ahead and get more words right that at some point you are going to use and whenever you have the opportunity to reach um the oh there is one to join yeah. the breakout rooms try to do it that one is part one near midterm part one and let me see that one is number five how do you say frases empresariales Porque eso también es, es un poco... Business phrases. Business phrases, okay. Mm -hmm. There are many business phrases. Yes, I know. Okay, so uh, I sent the answer on the chat. Yeah, I know there are many... I mean, those are like technical words, right? Technical words, and that's why. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another one? Check right now. Let's see if you have another one. No. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. So if you have more questions, do not hesitate to um, let me know. Okay. Let me know if you have more uh, inconveniences. Okay. And okay. I will help you. Okay. Very good. So right now, uh, just okay. Try to participate whenever you have the opportunity, because I, I'm notice I'm noticing that you do it, right? I'm noticing that you do it, and basically that's pretty much okay. So keep connecting, right? I know that is hard sometimes, but you are going to learn, right? So don't worry about that. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Perfect.
Thank you. All right. So I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.